Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I will introduce you to a feature called Picture in Picture. Picture in Picture is a feature that lets you multitask on your iPad while having this clip somewhere on the screen like this. I have my YouTube screen in the corner right now, and this chat app called Slack open at the same time. So just like this, you could send messages while watching the video. I was chatting with some members from my online iPad Mac community the other day, and one of them told me they wish they had a picture-in-picture -picture function in YouTube too, but unfortunately, we can't do that with the YouTube app we have by default. We have to be a bit creative here to watch YouTube videos, so today I'll show you how to watch YouTube on the iPad using picture-in-picture -picture function in this video. This actually works not only with YouTube but also with some other video streaming services, but it's kind of hacks that not many people know, so it'd be great if you could watch this video until the end. About this picture-in-picture -picture feature, it basically works on any apps by Apple. For instance, this app called Apple TV by Apple is an app where you can watch movies and stuff, but let me play the trailer of Aladdin here. As you tap the video, it gets displayed on a full screen, and this icon right here at the upper left, this is the picture-in-picture -picture option. As you tap this picture-in-picture -picture option, the clip gets moved to the corner of the screen. Now let's go back to the home screen. As you can see, even when you go back to your home screen, the clip should still be displayed like this. And this is called picture-in-picture. -picture. With this function turned on, you could browse the web such as Safari while watching the clip for instance, or in case you want to take notes, you could also have a note-taking app open to write things down while watching the clip. For a picture-in-picture, -picture, if you go to the settings, there should be a category that says Home Screen and Dock. And if you select that, then you can find an option that says Multitasking. And as you tap on that, this picture-in-picture -picture should appear right here. This is where you can turn it on or off. So if you find picture-in-picture -picture feature not working, then make sure that it's turned on here. Next, I want to try the same thing but with this YouTube app. I just opened the app and have Amity Sensei's video playing right now. And even though it gets displayed on full screen like this, there's no picture in picture option. There is this minimize button, but as I go back to the home screen like this, the app itself disappears and the picture in picture function isn't really working. I assume many of you prefer to watch YouTube videos while working on something rather than Apple TV, so I will show you how to do that from here. But this time I won't be using this YouTube app, and instead we'll be using this app of Safari, a web browser. Once you have the app open, create a new tab. Search YouTube in a new tab, and it should show you this desktop version of YouTube as you can see here. For those who don't see it as it automatically takes you to the YouTube app, you have to set up a few things. Tap A in the search button right here, and there's an option that says website settings at the very bottom. Here you can set this option display a desktop version of a website turn on or off, so please make sure to turn it on. It won't work if you don't turn on this option, so please check here. Now let me play a video. Right now the video is playing in the desktop of Safari and here set a full screen. You can do that from the button at the bottom right, this one right here. So as you tap this, the video can be played on the full screen. Now look at the screen and you have this picture in picture option at the upper left. And as you tap on this picture in picture option, as you did with Apple TV earlier, the clip gets displayed somewhere on the screen. Isn't this pretty cool? I think this is a really helpful hack you should know. 
But just like this, you could place it in four corners or you could zoom in or zoom out as well. If you put it either in the right corner or the left corner at the bottom, you can also put it away like this. So it gets smaller and invisible like this. And as you pull it back here, it gets displayed right here. This works in the same way on the right side too. It doesn't work doing this towards up or down even though I try. It seems that many of my subscribers watch my tutorial videos on their iPhone or PC while working on their design on their iPad. And I often see that through their videos or images on Twitter or Instagram, but there are times where you have your iPad only. So what you could do in that case is to open YouTube video open using this picture-in-picture -picture feature. For instance, I'm opening this drawing app called Procreate right now, and you could watch my clip and do the same thing at the same time. It might be a bit difficult for you to see as the screen is kind of small, but you could have it display on full screen too, just by tapping the full screen option. And I find it's really helpful making things so much easier. So please try this method for anyone who watches my tutorial videos. I'm drawing a video using Symmetry Tool in Procreate, and this is my favorite tutorial actually, so for those who haven't done it yet, please give it a try. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Okay, today I show you how to apply picture-in-picture -picture feature to YouTube videos. I assume there are many of you guys who didn't know about this feature before, so it'd be great if you could hit the like button down below if you find this video helpful. What we covered today can be used not only for YouTube videos, but also to other video streaming services such as Netflix and Hulu. And what's important to keep in mind here is make sure to play your videos on apps by Apple. Today we use a web browser app Safari by Apple, and a picture-in-picture -picture feature works only on apps by Apple. So please keep this in mind so that you can do the same thing with other apps too, so please give it a try. Okay, that's all for today. I have a lot of videos right now, around 200 to 300 videos in total. And I assume those who've subscribed to my channel lately must find it a bit confusing to figure out where to start, as there are just too many videos out there, but please refer to my playlist in that case. I have all of my videos by category here, including note taking apps, illustration apps, and tips on how to be productive, so please start from my playlist in case you're not sure where to start. I also write a blog on this platform called Node, and you can find an article with a list of videos recommended for beginners on Node as well. So if you're a beginner not knowing which video to start with, please refer to my blog. And I'll also put the link to Node in the description box, so please go from there. As you can see, I make a bunch of videos about iPads, so for those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Alright, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!